please give a warm Hackney Empire welcome to Penn and Teller. Thank you, thank you. My name is Penn Gillette, my partner Teller. We are Penn and Teller. Thank you. And, uh, okay, chill it out, chill it out, chill it out. Cool it. You know, we, uh, we are from the United States of America, and uh, we've been over here for a few weeks, and we really like your national anthem. God Save the Queen is way cool. But uh, everybody has a national anthem. I mean, even Switzerland has a national anthem. And we think you have such a boss country, we think you should have more than that. You should have a national magic trick. We humbly submit this one. <clears throat> Look, my hands are empty. Look a little white hanky. Watch closely. Not closely enough, it's gone. But a little wiffle dust and it's back. Thank you. So imagine, and now imagine at the beginning of all your football games, this happened. Would you all rise and perform the National Magic Trick? Look, my hands are empty. Look, a little white hanky. Watch closely. Not closely enough, it's gone. But a little whiffle does stand, it's back. Thank you. Pleasant world of Penn and Teller. Later, for your viewing pleasure, we'll be showing you a great trick that you can do at home. We're not kidding about this. You should really get out a blank videotape and be ready. But first, what the hell? Let's do a card trick. I need someone here to uh, to help me out with this. Uh, yeah, um, what's your name, please, ma'am? Rosie. Rosie. Do you know how to use the stopwatch, Rosie? Yeah. Come up here, would you please, Rosie? And watch your step here, please, Rosie. Here's your stopwatch. This is your start-stop button right there. And uh, here's a little mark you want to kind of stay on. And here's your microphone right here. And don't start it till I tell you to, then start right away, okay? So please welcome one of our favorite comedians, Mr. John Cleese with the Garage Door. <laughs> Keeper, Rosie, Rosie, John, please. She has a mark she has to stand on. So she won't move over here. Okay. Now, uh, I, uh, I promised you that I, I would do a card trick for you. Great. I love them. I, I know. And, I, and we, went, we went through this that you wanted to see some close up, you wanted to see something small. But the problem is, uh, uh, John, that, uh, that a deck of cards, although it's easy to get on camera and is fine for you, is very, very small for the people sitting in the back, people sitting quite a ways back. Wow. And this is kind of a boring prop to use. So just to give those people something to look at while we're doing the card trick, uh -huh. I'm just going to go over here and grab another little prop, and uh, and I'll be right back. So. Uh, We'll just do that here. Watch your ass, Rosie. <laughs> Thank you, Robbie. 
This is uh, the other guy. This is Teller. This is my partner, Teller. What was it? John Cleese. Te Teller. 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 John Teller. Cleese. Teller. 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 Uh, and I'm going to do a card trick. And oh, don't do not be uncomfortable. God forbid we should ever make anyone uncomfortable. Teller is not holding his breath now. As you can see by the uh, bubbles coming up, the regulator in his mouth, Teller is breathing relatively comfortably through this scuba tank and will not actually stop breathing until the card trick proper begins. John, if you do one favor. Take the lock that Teller has there. Leave him right. the key, but take the lock uh -huh. and feed it through the hasp and lock him securely in his underwater coffin of certain doom, if you'd be kind. Right. <laughs> okay. There we are. Okay. And Teller's holding a key here. He's holding the key to the uh, to the lock, and indeed, quite literally, to his life in his upstretched left hand. And has sworn on his honor as mm -hmm. a gentleman that he will not relinquish that key into these supremely skilled hands. Find your card. Right. Now, the tank was designed specifically for Teller. As you can see, there are metal bars that come down from the top that stop him from forcing his nose or mouth to the surface to breathe that glorious air that we too often take for granted. <laughs> now, for those of you who are trivia buffs, the world's record for holding one's breath on purpose is four minutes and 35 seconds and is held, as we all know, by the great Harry Houdini. Uh, Rosie, I've not forgotten about you. What I'd like you to do is stare right at Teller's lips. And the second that regulator comes out of his mouth, the very instant he can no longer breathe, just punch that button. Try to stay on your mark there. That's another part of your job. Just punch <laughs> that button there, and then just make sure it's going up. So get ready. Get your thumb on the button. It's going to happen very quickly. And John, if you'd be kind enough, just grab the hose there and wrench the regulator out of his lips, please. Boom. Go. And Robbie, could we lose this, please? Thank you. Is it going there, Rosie? Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. Don't push it more than once. What are you doing? Don't just keep pushing it. You have to push it just once and let it be going. Okay. Yeah, you've got the date on here somehow. Uh, uh, there, there we go. Let's just, uh... uh let's just pretend, uh... Let's just pretend we're starting right there, okay? That's, uh, 16 seconds. <laughs> Little glitch, Teller, no problem. A deck of cards for you here. Okay. Uh, just examine that card. Make sure there's nothing unusual about him at all. Seem no, okay to you? No, looks all right. And would you open the deck, please? Yeah, John? give me that. Uh, okay, I get this that's for seconds. you. Here. Nicely done, Rosie. Nicely done. <laughs> louder, clearly, in the mic. Just rip it open there. Yeah. And you might want to break the seal too. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that that hasn't been uh, damaged at all. Just. Nope. Uh, looks okay, genuine. Right yeah. Yeah. And then you want to pull yeah. the deck out there, John. Okay. And uh, we'll just throw the deck on the floor. I mean, not the deck, but the box on the floor. Uh -huh. And get the advertising cards and the jokers. Lose those. A joker's on the back, I believe, John. Joker's and then get the, the cards back. a thorough shuffle. And right. take your time shuffling, John, unless you have a shred of human decency anywhere in your soul. One right. minute. Nicely done, Rosie. Right on it. Now, I have not touched the deck before now. It's my first time touching the deck. And John, as you see, all shuffled there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> nicely, nicely shuffled, John. As you see, John, my hands are empty there. I'm just going to take the deck and I will just fan it out and take any one card, please, John. Obviously, don't let me see it. Any one card? And then wait till my back is turned and then hold it up so that they can see it, would you please? He's showing the card one around, Taylor! <laughs> nicely done, Rosie. <laughs> now, John, take this magic marker and write your name across the face of the card, the side of the card that's different from all the others. <laughs> When you bring your name across there, John, please put the cap back on the marker, hand it back to me. And then hold it up so the audience can see your name on there, please, John. And I'm going to turn around now. Please conceal the card from me, John, if you would. Conceal the card from me. Good. And don't bend it, because, you know, if you bend it, you put a crimp and it's a little bit too easy to find. There Two we minutes. Go. Nicely done, Rosie. <laughs> Shut it right in. And again, what are we at exactly now, please? Two Rosie. minutes, six. Two, two minutes, minutes seven. six seconds, Teller, and we be jamming. <laughs> now, uh, now we're doing some magic. Now, John, I, I know your first name and your last name, so I'm going to have to use something different. I don't know your middle name. What is that? Marwood. Mar Marwood. Marwood. Family name. Okay. Hold your hand out, please, there, John Marwood, please. Marwood, okay, let me see. Uh, uh, M A R W O. Two minutes 30. Nicely done, Rosie. <laughs> w O O D. And is that your card, John Marwood, please? The Nine of Spades? Mm, no. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Marwood, you say? Family Marwood. Marwood. Marwood, okay, John. Okay. John. Marwood, M-A-R-W-O-O-D. And is that your card, John Marwood, please? The Jack of Diamonds. Uh, uh, okay. Now, uh, I don't, minutes. I don't, nicely done, Rosie. I don't seem very worried, do I, John? 
That is because before the show, I put a card in my left hand suit jacket pocket. Make it a little more interesting, John. I put this card in a sealed envelope. Would you read what it says on that envelope, please? It says 6.33 p.m. Mm -hmm. And it has today's date. So before the show even started. What I want you to do, John, if you believe what you read, is just rip open that envelope, pull out the card, not yet, verify that it is indeed your Three minutes card. 30. 3.30. 3.30, your, your, your card, your name, and then loudly and clearly, yes, Pen, that's my card. Go. What are we at right now, Rosie? 3.37. Okay, 3.37. Go ahead, nice and loudly. Yes, Pen, that's my card. Yes, Pen, that's my card. Actually, it isn't. No, Does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, John, is it your card? No, no, somebody's... Written Basil on it. <laughs> uh, it's really not the It's not definitely. It's definitely. I mean, I'll say Four it minutes. if it helps. <laughs> uh, I, I must have. Is there another card in here? Uh, no, I just. I, I palmed the wrong card. Is what I did, John. Uh, here, just just hold these for a second, John. Just, just hold these for a second. Mm -hmm. Tell her I palmed the wrong card. Tell her, give me the key. Tell her, give me the. Tell her, give me the key. Tell her, give me. The, tell her, give me the goddamn key. <laughs> okay, he's right. We made a promise. We're gonna stick to it. Just hold your hand out there, please. Uh, M A R W O O D. Damn it to hell. Four minutes uh, thirty. M A. Thank you. M A R. Do you want to say four thirty? Yeah. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, <laughs> four Mississippi, five. Mississippi. Congratulations, Telly. You've broken Houdini's record. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a running start on it. Uh, J O H N uh, M A R W O O D C L E E S E. Oh, Jesus. Uh, 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 was it a black card or red card? Black or red? It was uh, a black. Black card. Um, B L A C K. Five minutes. B L A C K. Okay, you had your name on it, right? It must be on the floor, John. John, it must be on the floor. Check out, check out the should, cards. Should, down should I let him out? You see the cards? You see the cards? There's some back here. Excuse me. Any of the cards down here? Did you see it all? John, did you find the card there at all? Should I let him out? Find you the think? Card? What are we at? What are we at? What are we at? Five twenty. Five twenty. Let him out. Let him out. Let, let him out, John. Just, okay. just, just, just. Let him out. He'll just bob right up to the surface there. <laughs> just jiggle it. It's an English copy. Jiggle it. Jiggle it. <laughs> I don't think it's. I don't think it's the right what key. What are we at? What are we at? What are we at? Five forty. Five forty. Yeah, screw it, John. He's brain dead. <laughs> it's the wrong goddamn key, John. Uh, John, there's a John. Yeah. John, Six yeah. minutes. John, oh, thank you. There's a uh, John. There's a rule. There's a rule in circus. So whenever someone is attempting a dangerous stunt, they themselves are responsible for their own rigging. So yes, although the yes. high wire may be set by roustabouts, it's always the walker himself that checks the final turnbuckles. So it was clearly Teller's responsibility to make sure this was the right key. And I don't think there's a court in the world that could blame you, John, even though <laughs> you locked him in and took away his only air supply. Six minutes first. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I have a very important announcement to make. I would like to dedicate all the Channel 4 shows to be entitled simply The Unpleasant World of Pen <laughs> to my ex-partner. Let's gaze once again on the face of the one true hero of our generation. Ladies and gentlemen, my ex-partner, Teller. Seven minutes. And is that your card, John? The two of spades? Oh, two of spades. Thank you. Thank hey. you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. Now we're gonna take a uh, we're gonna take a uh, a little break and stay tuned for a trick you can do at home. You're gonna need a pack of cards and a blank videotape. Seven minutes thirty. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> no kidding around. We mean it. We're not kidding about this. Get out a videotape. Get out a videotape recorder and get your cards ready. We'll teach you a trick right when we come back in a couple of minutes. Thanks a lot. that 
you can do at home. And we're not kidding. This is where you're going to need your videotape recorder ready and a blank video cassette. Or better yet, you can use the greatest hits of Paul Daniels because we only need 30 seconds. Uh, first, I'm going to show you a little card to show how cool this is. I need someone from the audience again. Um, how about you, sir, right behind the camera? What's your name, please? Dave. Dave, right over here, please, Dave. Hi, Dave. Uh, Dave, my name is Pam, that's Teller. Now, Dave, name a number between five and ten. Four. Between five and ten. Five. Six. No, six, okay? What I want you to do is count off six cards like so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that sixth card, memorize it, and uh, also show it to the camera, okay? The camera with the red light on it. Wait till my back is turned, count off six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at it, hold it up. The sixth card. Look at it, hold it up. Remember it? Okay, I'm going to turn back around now. Put it back on the deck, just slide it back in there. Okay, anywhere, anywhere you want. Just put, anyway. put them all back together. Sure, that's great. And give them all to me. Now, Dave, would you be impressed if without shuffling the deck or handling it at all, I was able to make that card hop right to the top? Would you be impressed? Yeah. Hop. And is that your card, Dave, the King of Clubs? No. That's not your card. No. Okay, we've seen this is not a good night for card tricks. Let me just talk to Teller for a second. <laughs> and is that your card, Dave? Yes, yeah. The Three of Clubs. Now, Dave, here's what we're going to talk to you about. Now, you've got to use your head for a second. You know that Teller didn't have 52 cards in his back. So we had to know which one you were going to pick. So we used on you what's called a card force. Now, if you know any magicians, just walk up to them on the street and go, card force. Force, the little gray hairs in the back of the neck will stand right up. Card force. They don't want us teaching this. This is the way it's done. We want you to pick the three of clubs, so we put the three of clubs on top of the deck. That's all I do. Then I ask you to name a number between five and ten. Name a different one. Nine. Nine. And as though you didn't know, I count it out for you. Like this day. Now watch the three of clubs. One, two, three. I'm just reversing the order. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, and look at the ninth card, remember it. What I've just done is put the three of clubs, nine down in the deck where I want it. Now I tell you to do the same thing. You do it. One, two, three, just cut them right out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at the ninth card, and it's going to be the three of clubs. We have forced a card. Now all we have to do is do a punchline. We did the one on Teller's back. Uh, I like to fail first. Is that your card? Let you feel a little smug, and then we just ram the punchline down your throat. Like, is this your card? 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 Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Hit it. Is, uh, is uh, this your card? Is this your card? Fall them up, fall them up. Is this your card? The three of clubs. Get it up here. That's all you're going to do. Now, uh, Dave, we're going to show you how you can do this trick at home. All you need is a deck of cards, three of clubs on top. Get those videotapes ready. I'll be playing the part of you. Tell will be playing the part of your friend. And Dave will be playing the part of a guy in the audience. Just go back and sit down with the three of clubs on your back there. And this is the way it's going to look in your home. Okay, I've got the three of clubs on top of the deck, and my friend is about to arrive. Hello, my friend. Want to see a card trick? No, 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 no. This is a good one. <laughs> Step a seat here. Now, first, make sure they haven't seen this show. Do you like Penn and Teller on Channel 4? Good. <laughs> now, just ask me to name a number between 5 and 10, please. 7. Okay, as though he didn't know, I show him how to count down 7 with the three of clubs on top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Look at that card and then put it in the deck. Okay, my friend, go ahead. I know he's going to pick the three of clubs, but I want him to remember it. Stare at that card and memorize it. Okay, put it back in the deck. Now I'm going to fail on purpose. Let's just see. Is this your card? <laughs> Let him gloat a little bit. You're going to win the war. Let him win the battle. <laughs> I guess I'm kind of a loser, huh? <laughs> well, my friend, let's do something else fun. Let's watch TV. I turn on the videotape recorder at the same time. Financial news. The stock exchange had a quiet day, with the Financial Times index up a couple of points. On the foreign exchanges today, the pound rose to its highest point this year against the dollar. It also finished up on the day against the franc, the mark, and 
This just in, is this your card? <laughs> Okay, you know, you know how to force a card. All you need now is that piece of videotape, and we're gonna run it for you now. So get your fingers on the button so you can record it in five seconds. Four, three, <laughs> two, one, go, record. Financial news, the stock exchange had a quiet day with the Financial Times index up a couple of points. On the foreign exchanges today, the pound rose to its highest point this year against the dollar. It also finished up on the day against the franc, the mark, and this just in, is this your card? Meanwhile, in Downing Street, the Prime Minister spoke out against the rise in violence on late-night television shows. Both terrestrial and satellite TV recorded a 10% year-on-year rise in incidents of a violent nature. That's it. Keep the videotape ready. Keep your three of clubs on top. You can do an amazing trick, and maybe your friends will like you more, and magicians will like us less. And speaking of magic, let's produce some animals! Watch. <laughs> empty tube, completely empty tube. Nothing in it. Take this tissue paper, put it right over the top. And would you please take the other side, please? Uh, sir, put it, put it right over the top and set it up there. Nicely done. Turn it over like this, hold it like that, and... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go, shake them out. And now we have rice. A little bit of rice for you here. Yeah. <laughs> hold the rice there right in your hands. Little paper hat over it, and presto, maggots. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Tasty maggots. <laughs> and we'll take a little bit of maggots and pour them in this little saute dish here. Mm, 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 mm. Place them down there, and <laughs> right before your eyes. Slides! Once again, we come to a close of another show. Last week, we gave you our word of honor that we would never use a camera trick to accomplish our effects, and some still doubted. So now we would like to swear on this King James Bible that belonged to Teller's grandmother. We. Penn and Teller have never and will never use any camera tricks, okay? Yeah.